But you guys got another phone review. This one has been released by Xiaomi. It's called the Redmi S2. It was released on May 2018. Uh, it does have a 5.99 inch screen on it. Also, the resolution is 720 by 1440p. So it's an entry sort of level uh, phone. Comes with Android 8.1 Oreo on there. It's also got the Snapdragon 625 CPU in there. That comes in two models, 64 gigabytes of storage, four gigabytes of RAM, or the 32 gigabytes storage and three gigabytes of RAM. Depends on which one you want to go for. The dual cameras on here are pretty good, 12 megapixel and uh, plus five megapixel on there. And we've got 1080p and 30 frames per second video support. And the secondary camera is 16 megapixel on there with the flash. So let's take a look at the actual uh, box itself and see what you get inside. You're going to get uh, your cover here for your phone that comes in a kit. You're also going to get your charging cable. This is your USB charging cable here. And you're also going to get your adapter plug uh, to plug into the wall. And you're also going to get your user manual. Not much information in here. And you're going to get your phone itself here. As you can see, very nice looking phone for the money. Now, again, this does uh, come with the 16 megapixel AI powered front camera on here, which is pretty nice. I do love this silver look. You've got the uh, fingerprint sensor on here and also your 12 megapixel, 5 megapixel camera on the back there, which is really nice uh, sort of camera for this sort of uh, entry level. Now, this is the actual look of the phone itself when you power it up. Pretty nice looking uh, sort of phone at this price point. I think it's around about $150, which is around about £120-odd pounds in the UK, depending where you get it. So let's take a look at the device specs. You can see it's made by Xiaomi. It's the Redmi S2. It's got the Qcom hardware inside here. 1339 by 720 uh, screen resolution there. Oreo 8.1. 0. Operating system 41 sensors are on here as well, which is your gyroscope and a load of other uh, types of sensors on here, which is pretty good at this sort of price point, really. Um, as you can see here, I'll just go through here. Uh, no NFC uh, support on this phone, which is pretty normal. I'm going to go through some benchmarks for you so you can see what it uh, benchmarks at. So we're just going to go for the Antui uh, benchmark here, just going to push test and let this run. And you can see we've got 78,607 uh, benchmark score, which ain't too bad at this sort of price point. The Wi-Fi antennas on here are pretty good. You get really good signal here. I'll just do a quick test for you so you can see. And I found the Wi-Fi antennas to work really well, and I've got very good Wi-Fi speed on this phone. So you can see maxed out there. And also I'll do a quick speed test for you so you can see what the download speed is like. And this is going to vary depending on uh, what sort of internet speed uh, that you get in your home. Now on here we do have a 3080 milliamp hour battery on here, which is pretty good uh, for this sort of entry level sort of phone at around about £120. As I said, it's pretty good for that sort of price point. Now also uh, looking at the thermals here, as you would expect, pretty good from Xiaomi. Good uh, thermals on here, nothing running too hot, which is always nice. And uh, this phone does quite a lot for the money, to be honest with you. Um, at this sort of price point, you would expect uh, a lot less, but you do get a lot for your money. Now, take a look at the display here. We do have that 1720 by 1440, uh, 5.99 inch screen on there. Also, we do have the 60 hertz refresh rate. Now, I'm not sure what the total maximum multi-touch score would be, but I managed to get 10 fingers on there and they all registered, which is always nice, as you can see. Now the camera on here does have some features, short video, video, photo, portrait, square and panorama and also it has um, manual mode on there as well. Now the camera is not the best in the world but you know what, it's not too bad for this sort of price. You're only paying 120 English pounds uh, or about 150 US dollars which I don't think is too bad. It's not Samsung Galaxy S9 uh, Plus material, but then you're not paying a thousand pound for this phone. You're only paying 120 pounds, which I think is pretty good. As you can see there, pretty reasonable photos for this sort of price point. Moving on to the video, I took some video footage here. As you can see, this is the video footage. It's focusing onto the flower there, and these flowers are moving, and it seems to be doing okay. It doesn't seem to be having an issue at all, and I don't think it's too bad for this sort of money. Uh, you're getting pretty good uh, video footage there as well. 
Now moving on to the side of the phone here, you do have a couple of rocker buttons here and you can see the width of the phone is not too bad. It's nice to hold it in the hand and you can see you've got your power button and your audio and brightness button on there. On the back we do have that dual camera with LED flash on there and that fingerprint sensor and I do love the look of that silver, it does look pretty nice and I do like the design of the Wi-Fi antennas up the top there. Now also you've got your audio jack on there which is your 3.5mm audio jack just in case you want to use your audio. It does have one speaker on here that only works, the other one is just a dummy one and also we do have that charging port on the bottom there as well. Now the screen is not the highest resolution at 720p but it is an IPS LCD captive touchscreen with 16 million colours and also the SIM tray does have dual SIMs and also room for a micro SD card on there as well. Now also a thing I like about this phone is the Wi-Fi antenna, they sort of blended it in to make it look like a feature on the phone itself and it looks pretty nice. Let's take a look at some gaming. Now if gaming is your thing, it does play games pretty well. This is Tekken and it plays it pretty well and also it plays PUBG as well. So if gaming is your thing, then this phone is a definite must have. And especially at this sort of price point, it plays these really smoothly. There's no jerkiness or stuttering on the screen here as well. Now if you want to play movies and stuff like that, the speaker on here is pretty good. You get really nice clear sound uh, from the speaker. Uh, so it's nice and loud as well so there's no stuttering or uh, distortion from the speaker while you're playing games or movies so it's a pretty decent bit of kit for the money so I'll show you another game here so you can get an idea of uh, what it looks like with PUBG now the reason why you're getting smooth gameplay is due to the CPU it's a Snapdragon 625 and also the GPU is an Andrino 506 now this model is the 32 gigabytes of storage with three gigabytes of RAM but they do do a four gigabyte RAM version and a 64 gigabyte storage. Now let's play some music. Now the sound quality is pretty good, it get a nice clear sound, great for movies and stuff like that, you can see that was maximum volume. The scrolling on here is pretty smooth as you can see here, no jerkiness or stuttering on the screen. So that's pretty much it for the review. Now would I buy this myself if I was looking to buy a phone and I've not got a decent phone at the moment? And the answer to that would be yes, the Xiaomi Redmi S2 is sort of pitched for people that haven't got a lot of money, that want to get into uh, the market of having a decent phone. And to be honest with you, there's a lot of crap out there on the market and this one is pretty decent for £120. So if you're looking for a phone that's got quite a few decent features, uh, takes pretty reasonable photos and video and uh, does everything else like gaming and stuff like that for £120 then give the Xiaomi Redmi S2 a look. Anyway I'll leave all the links in the video description. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.